Hello students, today we are going to learn about one of the famous Indian companies, Britannia Industries. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company, Britannia Industries. Let us know this company in a much better way. Britannia Industries Limited is an Indian food products corporation based in Kolkata, India. It sells its Britannia and Tiger brands of biscuit throughout India. Britannia has an estimated 38% market share. This company operates in two business segments, bakery products including biscuits, bread, cakes and rusk and dairy products including milk, butter, cheese, ghee, dahi, milk-based ready-to-drink beverages and dairy whitener. The company's subsidiary Daily Bread Gourmet Food India Private Limited is a manufacturer of gourmet bakery products which it sells through its own retail stores directly to the customers. The company was established in 1892 with an investment of Rs. 295. Initially, biscuits were manufactured in a small house in central Kolkata. Later, the enterprise was acquired by the Gupta brothers, mainly Nalin Chandra Gupta, a renowned attorney, and operated under the name of V.S. Brothers. In 1918, C.H. Holmes, an English businessman in Kolkata, was taken on as a partner and the Britannia Biscuit Company Limited, BB Company, was launched. The Mumbai factory was set up in 1924 and Peaks Friends UK acquired a controlling interest in BB Company. Biscuits were in big demand during the World War II, which gave a boost to the company's sales. The company name finally was changed to the current Britannia Industries Limited in 1979. In 1982, the American company Nabisco Brands Incorporation became a major foreign shareholder. At the CMP of INR 670, the stock discounts its consolidated FY14E EPS of INR 26.7 by 25X and its FY15E EPS of INR 31.8 by 21X. Its 3-year and 5-year average PE worked out to be 37X and 32X respectively as per Bloomberg. Also, the company was relatively much cheaper in comparison to other food companies in its peer group. With powerful brands and biscuits category, non-biscuits division delivering healthy growth and strong financials. Britannia Industries Limited looked to be a good bet for investment. They assigned a multiple of 25x on its FY15E EPS of INR 31.77 to arrive at a target price of INR 794 for a time horizon of 15 months. Dairy products contribute close to 10% to Britannia's revenue. Britannia trades and markets dairy products and its dairy portfolio grew to 47% in 2010-11 and by 30% in 2011-2012. to 2012. Britannia holds an equity stake in Dynamics Diary and outsources the bulk of its dairy products from its associate. Its main competitors are Nestle India, the National Dairy Development Board, NDDB and Amul, GCMMF. The company's factories have an annual capacity of 4,33,000 tons. The brand names of biscuits include Vita Mari Gold, Tiger, NutriChoice, Good Day, 5050, Treat, Pure Magic, Milk Bickies, Good Morning, Bourbon, Thin, Arrowroot, Nice, Little Hearts, and many more. Let's look at the investment highlights. Strong Brands Portfolio in Biscuits Segment Britannia Industries leads the biscuits category with market share of 30% in the country. It has strong brands in the fastest growing biscuit market like Good Day, Marie Gold, Tiger, 5050, Milk Bickies, Treat, Bourbon, Little Hearts, Pure Magic and NutriChoice. The company is investing 8% of its sales on the advertisement to enhance its brand value and market share. Shift towards premiumization and cost rationalization to help improve the margin in the business. 
India is witnessing a major shift towards premiumization as consumer references change fueled by soaring disposable incomes in smaller towns and health awareness. To cater to the current trends, Britannia has launched various value-added products to increase its mix towards premium, premiumization with its products like Pure Magic, Treat, Good Day, Bourbon, etc. and has undertaken a cost rationalization which is expected to improve the margin of the company going forward. Increasing the sales mix of non-biscuits to improve profitability and diversifying the product portfolio, the company has been increasing its non-biscuits portfolio like dairy, butter, milk and dahi, bakery and healthy breakfast, poha, upma and oats to earn higher margin and diversify its product portfolio. It derives around 25% of its total sales from non-biscuits category, whereas biscuits constitute around 75% of the total sales driving sales through focus on new and renovated offering. The company has been driving its sales by introducing several new and renovated offerings across the entire portfolio that includes Nutri-Choice Multigrain, thin and, Thins and Roast Tea, Pure Magic, Treat Fruit Creams, Mari with Honey, Tiger's Zor Chocolate and Almond Milk. The company has over the last three to four years done the innovations in its products portfolio in all facets such as pricing, packaging and entry into new segments. Innovation has been focused on growing its segments with the pace of health and nutrition. The company has over the years innovated its product portfolio so as to command pricing premium in the market. Brand leverage has helped Britannia gain foothold in new segments such as chas and healthy bread offerings. Innovation backed by advertisement, exposure to help improve growth. Britannia accelerated the nutritional drive in the last three to four years and has been growing in double digits in this segment. The adults' health and wellness segment is growing at 20% plus levels and Britannia is witnessing similar to higher growth. Approximately 50% of its revenues flow in from this health and wellness segment. Britannia has over the years increased the investment behind creating back-end capacity to further increase the scope of internal sourcing. The company's average capes were 60 crores per annum, which is now trending at 200 crores. The company is backward integrating to maintain quality and quick turnaround in all regional markets. The company recently invested in Orissa and Patna and plans to set up a greenfield plant in Gujarat also. Decentralized manufacturing facilities help consolidate regional distribution costs and hence control overall logistic costs. We shall now take a look at the risk Britannia Industries have undertaken. Increasing competition. There have been a slew of MNC bakery giants entering the Indian biscuit market over the last two years. This coupled with a very large and unorganized local biscuit manufacturers add to the competition. Britannia is fighting competition through its new launches positioned with a health and wellness tag and also it attempts to other new growing snack and dairy categories. Volatility in raw material costs. Wheat, sugar and milk are the main raw material for the company. The prices have been volatile and continue to remain volatile. The company is open to taking calibrated price hikes to protect margins. Increase in diesel cost to impact distribution cost. The staggered increase in diesel prices during this fiscal will will have a negative impact on cost of distribution. To overcome these challenges, company has undertaken capex and has planned manufacturing capacities across regions which will result in controlling distribution cost. Future Prospects of Britannia Industries Limited Draw from the product portfolio from Group Danone Enter into various new areas of food like snacks and health drinks Look at new distribution channels like malls Boost to sale with aggressive brand building strategies Look out for both organic and inorganic growth Enter family size back so students, we got to know about the various aspects of Britannia Industries. We went through the company's history to its present scenario. Hope the information about the company was useful and have a very good day ahead.